Today, sitting right here while I try to get my fire going, which by the way is quite a challenge, I am going to do for you perhaps the most famous recipe of the Bardoli region and that is a Gujarati khichdi. So now it's time to khichdi. Into this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee. About a teaspoon of cumin, it's going to give a lovely woody aroma, a nice astringent pungency to our khichdi. Now, I'm going to chuck two onions which I've simply julienned. Perfect. That means we have enough heat in the bottom of that pan. Okay, so brown I am going to chop up some ginger. Okay, just chopping up some green chilies. So our onions, isko hum aise side karenge and then add our chopped ginger. Saute that lightly. And then just mix it all up. Okay, now, time for our green chilli. Same thing. Oh, that's smelling lovely. Let's just give that a nice shove around the pan. Now, it's time for our masano. Ko dalne ka. Half a teaspoon of haldi. One and a half teaspoons of red chilli powder. Lovely, dry roasted flavor to our spices. What I'm going to do now is simply add the potato. Okay, it's now time for us to add our rice and dal. Now I'm going to measure the chawal karke dalne wala hun. Measuring, okay. The reason I'm measuring it is because I want to be able to measure exactly the amount of water I need to put. Okay, so in goes one cup. In goes two. So two cups of rice, which means four cups of water for the rice. And then... One... And a half cups of dal. Okay. And then, I'm going to begin to stir this. Right. So just stir away and make sure that your Rice and dal and potatoes are all beautifully coated with that wonderful masala. I'm going to add a little bit of that lovely hing. So now we will put it in I'm just going to chuck them all in like so. Mix it up. I'm going to add in true Gujarati style some khand, okay, or what we call sugar. Okay, sugar has gone in. Time for us to add the salt. And then last but not the least, our kairi. So, time to add the water. One, two, three, and four. Now that four cups is for the two cups of rice. Just going to give it one final stir and then just cover it and let it simmer away till our khichdi is beautiful and soft. Okay, so our khichdi is ready. I'm just going to check and see. Yeah, that is looking perfect. Brilliant. And now it's time for us to complete our khichdi or rather finish our khichdi. Okay, in goes some fresh coriander. And last but not the least, some ghee. Beautiful. <laughs> One quick taste. Well, I've got to say that this khichdi has quite frankly 
exceeded my expectations. It looks and tastes absolutely brilliant. Hey, hey.